I really hope that they fix this in Honkai Star Rail because this could ruin the experience for a lot of new players when the game actually launches. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about already, it's gonna be this pity system, man. Like, honestly, this is nuts. I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't expect it because this is honestly what I expected to happen. I just really hope that they try and at least meet us somewhere and compromise before the actual launch of the game. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the situation yet, we've had our hands on the beta for a few days and players are starting to take a look at what it takes to pity a character. So for the character event banners, those are gonna be a 90 pity to get a five star where you have a 50% chance to get the character that you actually want. And if you don't get them that time, then you'll get them after another 90 pulls guaranteed but like 180 pools to get the guaranteed event character that you want, in my opinion is kind of outrageous. And I don't even think that's just in my opinion. I think this is like universally known. And after playing this game, they're not being crazy generous with the currency for me to feel like, oh, we'll hit that easy. Like that's easy, that's light work. No, that's not how this is working. It took me a few hours to get to the point where I can even do my first multi. Now things could be different with launch with the pre-registration bonuses and the awards of that sort but this is just like once we get beyond that and we start getting into the day-to-day -day routine trying to get any type of new character is going to depend on insane rng or just not summoning and only planning to summon on specific things now i know that everyone's not going to be able to summon on everything and i feel like that's like an understanding that we all have but this is just for the character exclusive banner when we go into like the default banner that's like always going to be there we can see that it's a 0.6 chance to get a five star and that's between a character or a a light cone and with this it's still a 90 pity pool for you to get a five star but with this you're busting it down <laughs> between the light cones as well so let's say you do your 90 pulls to get the pity on the standard banner now you got to bust it down and take your luck if you're going to get an actual five star character or if you're just going to get a five star light cone oh man it's getting <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy in here and then if you want to get a guaranteed character from this a guaranteed five star they do have this but you just you know you gotta pull 300 times but you know after you pull 300 times you'll be able to select whatever five star you want but at what cost man at what cost now when you do first start the game there is that beginner's banner and the pity on that is just five you got to get five multi summons and you get the pity and you get a random five star and i feel like even that that I, i'm not asking for too much i feel like that might be too low for a character event and i i get it but I feel like maybe like 70 or even just keep it at 90, but make it guaranteed that you get the banner character. So that way, if you're going hard and that's what you really, really want, at least you know that you're gonna spend all this currency, but at least you're gonna get it. And I don't think I mentioned this yet, but at least on the bright side, your progress is gonna carry over. So if you don't get you know, the five star on this character event warp, and 11 days when it goes to the next one, your pity will transfer over to that character. And I mean, I think that's how it was in Genshin, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. And I mean, you just kind of plan when you're gonna get your pity at the right time. But like, I really hope that this is something that they address, but more than likely they won't. But I just wanted to talk about this. So at least I'm vocal on my channel that this is something that I do not agree with. I do not like, and I think it needs to be changed. But if you're looking for more Honkai Star Rail content, I'll have a video right here where I dive deeper into the entire your gotcha mechanic as a whole and explain every little detail i just wanted to make this video solely to get all my complaints out air my grievances so that way in the video that i'm recommending it's not just me whining the whole time